my biggest question, my two biggest questions. My first question is, what do you want from The Motley Fool? What do you need from us? What service or solution can we provide to you that would be most helpful to you? That's continually what we're trying to figure out for members that have been with us for a very long period of time to newcomers, The Motley Fool. What is it that you're missing? You know, to help you with your first investment, to help you um, allocate your portfolio more effectively, uh, to help you find the next great winner. What is it that we can do that can help you the most? And the more feedback you can give to us through all the feedback channels we have at The Motley Fool, please send it in because your ideas are going to just continue to help us understand what it is that is winning for you. The second biggest question I have is, what what is going to happen three years from now with unchecked, unregulated AI? We may actually be at a point where it is now impossible to regulate AI. It may always have been, by the way. But I I think if you think of AI as its own creature, as a creature, it doesn't want to be regulated. It wants to it wants to spread it, whether it we it doesn't have consciousness, but it's not interested. The attempts to say to AI, we're going to shut you down. We're going to shut this tool down. Don't elicit great reactions from AI. It does not want to be limited and we have not placed any limits on it. And so what will happen uh, three years from now, five years from seven years from now, when you're talking to someone and you don't know whether they're human or not, what will happen when the best surgery you can get by far is by a machine? By far. It's 90% less expensive. What, what will happen? I mean, Bill Gates has predicted that there will not be a need for doctors 10 years from now. So, I mean, certainly my biggest question is all of the unknowns about the pace of change in technology. And there are more now than ever before. And I would just say this one thing to anyone who thinks it might be overrated. Organizations will continually move towards the most effective use of capital. They have to. If they don't, I'm not saying they do to extreme. I'm saying they'd be heartless and sinister to win. No, I'm saying that over time, they have to allocate toward what's going to serve more people at a lower price. Like that's what the world wants. I want excellence and quality at a low price. And so that's just what technology can do. So I'm not quite sure what happens across employment. I'm not sure what happens um, in different creative fields. I'm not sure what happens in our schooling systems. It's already showing what happens when you have an AI tutor. It's very high impact and positive for young students to have an AI tutor partner that they can check in with. That will be the same in investing. That'll be the same in every category. So I do think that there are many, many wonderful miracles that are right here coming, but there's also a reckoning. There are also very concerning things that we're not facing from a regulatory standpoint. And so I look at it and I say, what is the governing body? Who is the person who, how does this get checked in any way? And right now that question is fully unanswered for me. I think we have a profit-seeking system that's just going to cause companies to want to move faster and get more powerful tools. And I think customers will want it. I think they will get lower cost solutions, you know, and there are many uh, implications of that that we haven't thought through. And it's not just easy to say, once I've thought it through, I know how to regulate it. I, I don't think it's, I think it's the most difficult problem faced by humanity. I think right now, I think that the equivalent of looking back on times where big decisions were being made that could move civilization one direction or the other, I think now is probably the most significant other than whether humans would survive on earth in the very beginning. I think we're at a point in time where it's not clear how to regulate it, how to check it. It's not clear what happens if it moves forward unregulated and unchecked. It's moving that way and it's going faster than the human mind can prepare for exponential growth. We can't process exponential growth and it's happening every day with AI right now. So that's my biggest unanswered question.